you have prepared an amazing topic for us, which are annual profections. So, you know, you're, this is a Hellenistic approach, right? And um, mm -hmm. can you say a little bit about um, the difference between Hellenistic astrology and the modern day astrology that, you know, maybe you, you get on in newspapers, magazines, or general tropical charts? What's the difference sure. there? Yeah. Sure. So, I mean, Hellenistic astrology was the original Western astrology that was originated about 2000 years ago. And, you know, you could talk about that for a good while um, alone. But the basic difference, I guess, would be um, without oversimplifying, there is a bit more of a focus on um, things, on faded things and not complete free will. There's also a focus more on the concrete areas of life and um, timing, what happens when, that kind of thing, in order to help you plan. Yeah. And so, um, and modern astrology isn't like 180 from that, of course, but there tends to be a bit more focus on like psychological things in a sort of self-help way. So I try to blend both of those to kind of get a, give a well-rounded approach to clients. I think that's great. I mean, you know, there's so much you can obsess about with astrology. There's always another thing to learn. And Hellenistic astrology is not something that I've personally, you know, taken a dive into. So I'm extra excited because any chance that I can learn something new, you know, it, you know, I'd take a lift my nose up from the grindstone is extra exciting. And yeah, I know I'm a very psychological astrologer. So timing and planning is is a big deal to uh, to connect with that. So so tell like how does this technique work of annual profections? Mm -hmm. So um, it's basically a birthday technique. So it's something that runs from one birthday to the next, and it basically just puts a highlight more than usual on one area of your life. It's not to say that the other areas disappear, but that there's just a little bit more of a spotlight on that area or more activity in that area that year. Um, and so this is actually a really great technique, I thought, to um, introduce to listeners here because it is a Hellenistic timing technique, and that can sound kind of um, intimidating to some people, but this is actually the easiest one to grasp and start mm -hmm. using very quickly. And so I think people will really enjoy that. 